All right. Yeah, struggling. I'm tired and really tired lately, and uh, temptation's high. And last yesterday we were swimming, and I was in the hot tub, and there was a woman beside me. You know, there was a woman beside me ejaculating, okay, in the hot tub. So stuff's getting weird. She was uh, pressed up against the, I could tell, like, I knew what she was doing. And my spirit told me she's uh, ejaculating. I could just tell because she was in a, in a trance and uh, she had her thingy up against Right in front of everybody. Uh, She had her thingy up against the jet. And you could tell by the way she was in a trance. I knew exactly what she was doing. I watched her and I was like, you're doing that there. Anyways, it's, uh, I got some videos to show. And then, uh, yeah, satellites are falling out of the sky, earthquakes. Yeah, bad earthquakes as well. Uh, New Jersey and uh, 2,000 earthquakes in the Vancouver waters. The water being torn apart. Hi, Lisa. Lots of things going on. So, people are... Are not realizing how uh, how terrible it is uh, right now. So let's do some video here. How did they have a picture of that in 1927? sky still look at this this is a satellite that fell out of the sky on this lady's property y'all see this never know what's gonna happen this baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard it's never boring on the welky farm thank god there's no horses out or it didn't hit the house and it's still going in flashing you see, I'm a little confused here because um, why are satellites falling out of the sky? Um, he's bringing everything down. Yeah, he's bringing everything down. Oh, I hope it's over soon. I don't know how much I'm gonna, longer I'm going to make it. Uh, people uh, ejaculating in, in public, in plain view yesterday. I just shook my head and said, wow, what is it coming to, right? I could tell what she was doing. She had her thingy up against a jet. I could see the jet, and I could see her in a trance. She uh, finished her ejaculation there in front of everybody, and everybody didn't notice it, but I did. I know what that's all about. So, yeah, right in front of people, man. uh, People just have gall nowadays. Let's see if this gets. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a little confused. Yeah. Is that a weather balloon? It's not going to do it. Oh, I got to do it. Oh, the lightning strike. 
the Statue of Liberty. One thing I'm thinking about this is <clears throat> how in the world did somebody time this? How in the world did somebody take this picture? But it's another thing that did y'all see that one video of that Statue of Liberty puppet? And it was in chains. And it's another thing that New York just had an earthquake. Something going on. I'm telling you, this solar eclipse, these bridges falling, something, the, the bridge between the physical and the spiritual is getting a lot more thin, y'all. A lot of stuff going on. And it's things like this that synchronize and make you go, hmm, it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. The videos is up on the screen right now. Whatever one is up on the screen right now, then you see. But this is not a coincidence. I don't think it's a coincidence. Things are becoming more spiritual. Things are amplifying. Especially after the solar eclipse, you're going to start to see a lot more things happen. And it's going to make you think. That's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. And CERN is, is going to be doing their particle accelerator on April 8th. It's not a coincidence. They're using that energy as leverage to figure out more on how this universe was built. It's not a coincidence. NASA is shooting three rockets into the solar eclipse for what? It's not a coincidence. None of this is a coincidence. Something is happening. Something is going on. It's going to continue to be more. Uh, so we got someone new in our channel. We'd like to welcome her. A couple of people leave. A couple of people come in. This is uh. This channel's done high study. We got many books here. Three hundred and sixty books I have. All them right there and lots right in front of me here. So we're very advanced uh, in the teaching right now. Uh, learning how to read our Bible after six reads. Like it's crazy how the Bible people don't understand it. Okay. So and to understand the Bible, you actually need all the books and they'll tell you different. But anyways, uh, 180, 90,000 hours teaching, reading, listening, and learning I have been doing. So and this channel has grown quite significant, and we're layers into the layers of the Bible right now. So because the Bible has layers, right? So I'm just going to show some videos here. Jesus is coming in the sky written so bear with us we uh the channel doesn't lie and uh it has a lot of information that people are just not giving out told you everything was a distraction right stop watching p diddy stop worrying about the bridge there's something a little bit more important that just happened today and this is pretty interesting and it involves russia have a look so while we all look that way i told you that they'll be doing something over here and as we look at this article right here, Russian warships enter the Red Sea, Navy says. They are positioning themselves in a tactical move to counteract something. Why would this be happening with everything going on in the world? Well, distractions. If I get you to look over here, about Puff Daddy or P Diddy, if I get you to look at this bridge that just fell, if I get you to, 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 to think about a black Jesus, you won't see me positioning myself 
poor? I'm not going to say. But you know it starts with a W. War. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Uh, where the country faced a very unusual event he recently. 2,000 earthquakes were recorded in a single day. Scientists believe that they hold a grim warning and that the ocean floor is ripping apart and ripping off Canada's coast. Our next report tells you more about this story. There is a rumble in the ocean and the signs are ominous. A series of earthquakes have jolted Canada. Scientists believe that this is a sign of something big in the Pacific Ocean. These frequent tremors are exciting for scientists because they might be a sign of something incredible, the birth of new ocean floor. Deep beneath the ocean surface, molten rock called magma is constantly on the move. As the ocean floor stretches and thins, the pressure lessens allowing this hot magma to rise up when it reaches the surface. The magma cools and hardens, forming brand new pieces of ocean crust. The quakes aren't any threat to people. They're relatively small and centered on a spot called the Endeavour Site, about 240 kilometers off the coast of Vancouver Island. By studying these quakes and the ocean floor, researchers hope to get new insights about how the ocean floor creates new crust. It's like listening to the whispers of the earth, revealing the secrets hidden beneath the waves. The next time you look... Uh, plasma, plasma, plasma. Hunter, you have a theory about the moon, and we expect to be able to get observable facts about the moon fairly soon. Um, what is your theory? Well, uh, it has been uh, rather more than a theory. Uh, 10 or 11 years ago, I stated to various scientists that the moon is not a piece of rock, but it is a uh, plasma, plasma phenomena, cosmic plasma. Uh, and that this fact will eventually be confirmed. I made certain predictions which were already confirmed in 1958, and the situation now is coming close to a complete confirmation. What will be the result if you are proved to be correct in your theory? The result will be uh, profound and decisive because it will give proof that a complete re reinvestigation of the laws of nature is necessary. Because if the moon is a plasma, no man will ever land on it. Soft landing attempts will all fail. That means that the mass of the moon is less, far less, than is currently assumed. It's in a different state of energy and it has far less mass. That means that there is no more explanation for the tide. If the moon, for example, had only a thousand part of its current mass, then the tides would only be two inches high and the conventional theory instead of sometimes four in feet. This is a crack in the veil.
Okay, I fixed it. I pressed the button. So they're uh, they're making people turn their heads with the splack Jesus and all these. There's not one bridge being knocked down. Why are they knocking down bridges? London Bridge will fall. Keeps falling down. What are they doing? They're blocking roadways. They're blocking people in to trap them in as all this stuff is going on. Black Jesus, he ain't black. The Bible tells you what color he is. Jesus' feet are bronze, KJV. Revelations 1.15, and as his feet onto fine brass, sorry. As many burned in the furnace. He's not talking his feet burnt in the furnace. He came down to this earth. That's burning in the furnace. We live in the furnace. Okay. So they're distracting people with all these lies. Uh, churches not telling people that it's end time. Not teaching the proper books. Like this one is a proper book. Matched up with the KJV. Thousands of scriptures in here is in your KJV. People just don't know how to read the KJV. Because the KJV is the hardest book to read. With all God and God and God. Other books don't talk about God. Why? Because you have a fullness in heaven. It's called the fullness in your Bible. It's called the Ruach. It's called the All. It's called God's earth. Not this earth. God created this that earth and Satan created the one that we're living on because the whole world lies in the hands of the wicked one. Here, Jesus, I offer you all the kingdoms of the earth. He, it's his. Everything you see is an illusion. Your Bible will tell you that. You live in an illusion. Many books tell you that. Your Bible does, but it's very little. You live in a matrix as an avatar. What does avatar mean? According to Miriam Webster, avatar, aviatar, noun. One, the incarnation of a Hindu deity to a, an incarnation in human form b, an embodiment often in a person three, an electronic image that represents is manipulated by a computer user. Yep, these movies. Clash of Titans? Clash of Titans. Let's see if we can get that up. The old movie Clash of Titans where the gods are looking down. Video on that. Zeus, you must bring an end to this. They attack our temples. How oh, dare to desecrate Zeus's image. We could reach out to them. An accommodation could be made. A truce. Ow! I created them, and they reward my love with defiance. There will be no truce. Find me some rage from you. How long has it been? How long, brother? Since you've seen my face. Hades. Hades. Endless years. I've watched from the underworld. And saw your wrath. Tempered. With love. You created them for one reason. So their prayers would fuel our immortality. But you love them too well. They've grown strong. And now I am forced to rise because we are all threatened. What do you want, brother? Let me loose upon them. They will pray again. And you will bathe in their awe and fear. And we will grow strong again. He belongs in the underworld, not here. You do not tell me where I belong. You say it is love that feeds us, but you depend on their love. I've only learned to live on their fear, their pain. Zeus, 
Our brother speaks the truth. Yeah. Go. Do what you will. Father, we need the mortals. No, Apollo. It is his right. Their insolence has a price. Like children, they need to be reminded of the order of things. Set an example, brother. Turn them on each other. And back into our arms. 100% truth. See, you have to be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. Because Satan will tell you what he's doing. That's exactly what happened. Okay, so I'm glad I actually played that. That's exactly pretty much what happened. Let's show you one more. Have you seen what's happening out there? Have you even bothered to look? We serve as an inspiration. Hundreds of our men have lost their lives. Yet we celebrate. You're provoking the gods and you act as if there will be no consequence. But what do you want? Should we be afraid? Should we be trembling and soiling ourselves in fear? The gods need us. They need our worship. What do we need of them? Look at my daughter. Don't. What could be more divine than... Brother, it is time for the mortals to pay. My child waits to do your will. Leave us. Release the Kraken! yelled to both telling everybody my child release the beast the beast has been here since the beginning he used to walk on two legs named Beelzebub release the Kraken release Leviathan Leviathan is the earth is the beast itself the he moth is all the demons the principalities in high places. And the two of them are causing this darkness on the earth and between the people. And it's been happening for a long time. Don't take the number of the beast. Oh, no, no. You're either a shadow or you're a light. A seed of light or a seed of shadow. There is no other way, no other in between, no middle fence. Because the middle fence belongs to Satan. Yelled to both. You're either in the heavens with the Father right now under his feet, or you're a square box above the earth being a principality in high places, destructing and lying and cheating and being an abomination. Okay? There's no other two ways about it. There is no mark. You're marked from God from the beginning of your time. Before time was here, you were created. God's earth isn't here yet. I will make a new heaven and I will make a new earth. Does that say he's re recycling this old one? I don't think so. You don't need to live. Heaven is not a physical. Heaven is a spiritual. The father only made physical. Satan made, or sorry, the father only made spiritual. The books tell you that. 
God did not create this earth that we live on. It tells you that in this book, in your Bible, I never created the dust. I never created the mountains. I never created the seas here. The sea, our sea is up there. Yes, he will destroy it. They think, oh, this is going to be heaven and uh, blah, 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 blah. Quit your lying. Tells you in the Bible, I will make a new heaven and a new earth. Let's go there. I have to prove things because people, they turn on the truth today. I got to get rid of this. How does this go? He makes a new heaven and new earth, KJV. Revelations 21. And I saw a new heaven, and I saw a new earth. The earth that's coming down. It's called the all. What is it called, Junior? And then I'll go and tell you and show you what it means. Junior is 16, and he has more wisdom than a teacher of 50 years. Yeah, well, no, what's the name the book gives it? Brought. Okay, just say it out, and then I'm going to show you what that word makes. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea, no more water. Let's go there. No, what's his earth called? The all starts with a B. <coughs> Come on, Junior. And then I'll show you what it means. So when I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And, and I, John, saw the holy city called New Jerusalem. What's it called in these books? Barbello. I'm going to show you what that means here in a second. And I saw a New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Because your bridal chamber is up there. And in there is the spirit of God that works through this yo-yo down here on a string. We live in Satan's body. Your flesh must die to go back to Satan, 1 Corinthians 5.5, 5, to save your soul. And I heard a great voice come and say, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and their God. How come it says God himself shall be with them, and be their God? You will be God, the Son of God. You will be a God, a small g. You already are, but down here we're wretched. We're not to go around saying, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God. Because they will become like gods. It tells you in your Bible. The all is your bridegroom that's waiting to come and get you. Not rapture. Resurrection. To being what you were. Resurrect means you're going back to what you were. When Jesus resurrected, he went back to being what he was. The black hole sun. The black hole sun. The black sun, the one that's hidden, the one that's going to block out the false sun in front of, above your head, Cain. Cain is the sun. I have a book, John, over there that tells you. You need to have these other books to understand there's many pieces of the puzzle missing. 366 books, and they have 66 thinking they know it all. You can't know this Bible unless you have those other books. Because what is their God? You. God himself. That's the all. Because all is a hive mind like-minded. 
your spiritual flesh. You have a natural flesh and you have a spiritual flesh. Your bridegroom. And your bridegroom is working through above all the clouds of the highest, the most high at his feet. And that one's stringing down light to you because you're only a soul. Your spirit goes where your wind takes it. What's wind? A spirit. When you go to sleep, lay your head down at night, your spirit proceeds up to God. It goes back and forth. It's a rod. We will come back better. Yes, that's why we're here. Here again, God is with men, literally. God is you, but not yet. You will be as Jesus. You just don't know yet. Here, I'm going to that scripture now. We will be like Jesus. We just don't know yet, KJV. But this channel knows. Beloved. Now we are the sons of God. Huh? He's not talking about God. And and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we will know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Every man that hath his hope in him purify himself, even as he, he is pure. You have a virgin soul. It's kept pure up there, because if it came here and you did one sin, you'd go to Hades. Notice how that show said, oh, Hades. And the devil come out in a black suit, <coughs> a black seat. <coughs> People don't realize these movies tell us a lot of stuff. Okay. And your Bible tells you, it says God, God, God. But all the other books over there says that once in a while. I have some Apocrypha that does. But I have Hebrew books and Jewish books. And my Hebrew book doesn't explain God. Okay, There is no word God in the Hebrew book. Because we will be like gods. So let's go to Acts 11.14. Acts 11.14, KJV. According to Bible study tools, 14 who shall tell thee words, whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved. 15 and as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them, as on us at the beginning. That's the Holy Ghost. Everybody that is of God has the Holy Ghost, because if you didn't, you couldn't be guided. Okay, so that's not the one I'm looking for. 14.11. Acts 14.11. According to BibleRef.com, Acts chapter 14, verse 11. Acts chapter 14.11, KJV. But you shall receive power after that Holy Ghost has come upon you. Everybody has Holy Spirit of God. There's not just one, two, or three Holy Spirit. Jesus ain't your Holy Spirit. You have one that's been given to you from the beginning that will abide with you forever. And that's what it says in the Bible. And people don't understand that. Oh, Jesus is the Holy Ghost. No, he's not. Neither is God. Neither is the Father. Sorry, not God, the Father. But you shall receive power after that Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be a witness unto me both in Jerusalem and Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Because we will meet him in the clouds. You have two. You have one middle guy. And you have the top. That's the two that actually you're going to become you. When your two eyes become full of light. When you become full of light. Your two eyes is the one above you. And the 
and and somewhat the one because you have pissed the Sophia of faith in you become one, then you're done and you go. And he spoke in these things while they beheld was taken up in a cloud and received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward the heaven, he wept. And behold, two men stood there, them in white apparel. That's who comes gets you. Which also he said, ye men of Galilee, why stand here gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus which was taken up from you into heaven shall so come like the manner as you seen him go into heaven. You will go the same way. You will go like Isaac. You will go like Ezekiel. You will go like Elijah up in a whirlwind. A cloud. Then they return into Jerusalem from Mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey. And when they come in, they went up into an upper room. Your bridegroom chamber, their spirit went up into an upper room. Not here. That's why heaven comes through you. Into an upper room where you abode, where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew and Philip and Thomas and Bartholomew, Matthew, James, and the son of Alphaeus, uh, Alph- and the son of Zebedee and Judas and the brother of James. These all continued. I got to find the one. Hold on. That was good that we did that, but. In the KJV, and Barnabas was like Jupiter, and Paul like Mercurius, KJV. According to Textus Receptus, and they called Barnabas Jupiter, but Paul Mercurius, because he was chief speaker. The 1968 Jerusalem Bible, the 1970 St. Joseph New American Bible, and the 1985 New Jerusalem Bible all say, Fourteen twelve. Acts fourteen twelve, KJV. So those things in the heaven that they call planets aren't planets. Those things they call in heaven come down on us are not rocks. Asteroids are not rocks. Comets are angels. They're not rocks. They lied to you. Be as as gods on the earth. So let's go to the whole thing. Many gods on the earth, many lords on the earth, as in heaven. Anything here is up there. If you have a, if you are a beast, man and beast, you have a square in the middle in the clouds. It doesn't go back to heaven. It goes back to nothingness, to a shadow. Because it's not by what you can see with your eyes. I'll go to that scripture right after. That's all a lie. So, all right. And when the people saw that Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Laocona, the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. Hmm. That's your holy angel that's with you and will stay with you forever. What did it call it? The gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. That just tells you it all. And they called Barnabas Jupiter and Paul Mercurius because he was the chief speaker. 
Then the priest of Jupiter was before their city brought oxen. Okay, so the rest of the matter. They've come down to us in the likeness of God. That's the likeness of the Father. Every one of God's children is a God. Just not yet. You're becoming the sons of God, the Father. The Most High, the Ruach HaKadash, I am that I am. The Creator, that's the Father. Not Yahweh. There's many Yahwehs. <laughs> they got that wrong, man. They're calling the Father Yahweh. You cannot name something that created you. That's why he's the Most High, the Ruach HaKadash, the Spirit of the Father is what that means. I am and the Creator. You can't name him. He created you. How do you name him? He names you. You get a new name on a rock. And your Bible tells you that. People don't know how to read their Bible. Just said right here, we come down in the likeness of our God. You have a God in heaven. Which this book proves. The Bible proves it. Verily, this is Psalms 58, 11, so that there's a reward. He is a God that judges in the earth. Jesus ain't judging in the earth. He's above. God, the Father, ain't judging in the earth. He's above. Verily, he is a God that judges in the earth. You come down in the likeness of God. Because you have a God. You are God in heaven. Just not here because you live in this wretched body. The body's not made by the Father. We didn't come in Satan's image. If you say you were created in his image on this earth, your flesh was? Man and beast. The number of the beast. Six, three, score six is the number of a man. Number of the flesh. I read it 14 times in the Bible. Man and flesh, beast and man, same thing. But you're not that beast that you live in. You're warring against it. My spirit wars against the flesh. They're all looking at fleshly things, calling it God. It ain't God. I'll tell you right now. I'll show you a scripture. Your flesh must die to go back to Satan for destruction, KJV. 5-5, five, five, yep. 1 Corinthians 5-5. Five, five. To deliver such unto one to Satan for destruction of the flesh. Your flesh is junk, man. That's what makes you. You can't be perfect because you live in a demon. Okay. Your flesh must die. Go back to the dust. From dust I come, from dust I go. The Father said, I didn't create the dust, the highest dust of the earth, mountains, valleys, and water. At the beginning, the Bible says God that created the earth. That's a wrong God. That's the God of this earth. It's a big G of this earth. No, Jesus was the only one born in, in, in flesh, in good flesh. He, was, he wasn't created uh, with sex, which God doesn't like. His spirit came down and went into Mary. And uh, Gabriel brought it down. You wouldn't be able to find his flesh because he came down, yes. And that flesh that went back up, he's the only one that ever did that. Because he was fully righteous. Okay. So I'm going to go back to where I left off. Everybody open your books to Psalms 50. Go grab your Bibles. You must have your Bible with you. Okay. This is the Bible study and you need to have it with you. Because a lot of people don't believe what's been said on this channel. 
You know what? They all run to the false teaching. That's what sheep will do. That's why there's only a remnant. Only a remnant will know the truth. It says it in your Bible. Jesus says, when he comes back, will I find any faith? In another book, he says, when I come back, will I find any hope? Hope and faith are with each other. We hope in the Lord. Okay. So hold on a second. Go grab your Bibles and a pen so you can read along with me. Hold on. <laughs> You're going to see the Bible in a new light if you're new in here. It's called the square. The one above you is the triangle, and the one above it is the circle, the Father's earth that we've never left, the Ruach, the chamber, the virgin. You have a virgin soul. Even Kiss will tell you. We'll slowly rob you of your virgin soul. Spirit in the sky will tell you. People don't understand that you have a spirit in the sky. That's how we meet them in the clouds because we're already there. Okay. So Psalms 50. Open up to Psalms 50. You're going to be taught how to read the Bible today. Okay, that's what we do here. Because the Bible's got many mysteries, many secrets, and they're hidden because there's missing many puzzles, pieces to this puzzle. They gave you pieces. In the book of Thomas, it says the Pharisees and Sadducees took the keys out of the kingdom of heaven. Okay? They took the keys out of the Bible. Like God told Daniel, shut the book up for the time. We live in that time. And I got all of those books. Okay, so let's go on. I got uh, 366 books. I got about 270 on me and the rest on my, my phone. So the mighty God slash even the Lord. That's two entities, not one. That's not the Father. God is not the Father. He even tells you in one book, you can call him God, but he's much more than God. Okay? Even the Lord, that's Jesus Christ, that's two entities, have spoken and called the earth from the rising of the S-U-N into the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfect, the perfection of beauty. That's God's or the Father's earth. God hath shined. When you die, you'll shine as the sun. <laughs> that says it in the Bible. The believers will shine as the sun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you got it. It's many different names for Barbello. It, even your chamber, your realm. They, there's many different names for the God's earth that's coming down the New Jerusalem. I'm going to show you a picture of it. And one book says, a couple books said, you'll see the New Jerusalem coming out of heaven. The new earth. It's not new to us. It, it, we will remember where we were because God created you before this earth was created. He created his earth called Barbello, called Zion, called his high mountain, his high tower, your high tower. So what was I going to do? Oh, I forget. Anyways, let's keep going because I went talking on. There's many different names for it. Okay, It's a realm. Many mansions in heaven. What are those mansions that you go live in and have shower in and cook food on when you're an angel? That's the realm of Bardello. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to show you what the new Jerusalem looks like. When are you most self-conscious of your breath? For me, it's definitely when I'm at an event. Real light clouds in the sky. And there's four suns. Those are the four that started it. We came from them. Oh, no.
rainbow like cloud phenomenon in the sky. It explains that's exactly what the New Jerusalem looks like. Let's find some more. There's lots of them. The New Kingdom. Bardello. The New Jerusalem. Zion. There's the black holes. The black sun that you can't see is Jesus that won't be giving his light. If you were to take the veil away, that light would burn us up. Look at how big it is. I got pictures from Mark too as well. Those are angels, not meteorites. Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel explains them all. Churches don't teach you how to read your Bible. They teach you not how to read your Bible. You don't get you don't get ordained to teach only by the Father from the beginning, not by a school. Did Jesus go to a school or anybody else? No. Churches are meant to mislead. God does not reside. The Father does not reside in any building made with hands. Neither does the Holy Spirit. Neither does Jesus. Why? Satan said, I offer you all my kingdoms, Jesus, if you bow down and worship me. The whole world lies in the hands of the wicked one. This world ain't going to be here very soon, I hope. I don't make predictions like that, okay? But I know I can feel it in my spirit. They always teach physical. That's right. The church teaches you this stuff physical when it's a spiritual. You need to read, read it with spirit. You need to read this book in spirit. All right, well, let's go forward. Our God shall come and shall keep silence. Whoop. A fire shall devour before him. Remember the burning bush? That was his own self coming for him. Moses went up to the burning bush. It shall be very temptuous round about him. See that halo? We've come down in the likeness of our God, us. He shall call the heavens from above and to the earth. That they may judge his people once again. We're doing the judging because if somebody, we judge the angels, tells you anybody. If somebody attacks you up above in principalities, the principalities up above you are in a war with that one that's attacking you. You don't know it. You don't see it. It's not by the things you see. Faith is not, faith is not by what you see, KJV. Well, we look not to the thing which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the thing which are seen are temporal, but not the things that you don't see. They're literal. This ain't literal. This earth is going to be gone. Who ever tells you that they're going to remake this earth? When it says in the Bible, I make a new heaven and a new earth. And that earth is coming down, which I just showed you. Paradise. So to all the people may ju judge his people. Gather you, 
my saints together unto me that those who have made a covenant with me be sacrificed. By sacrifice of what? Sin and all your things your flesh wants to do. That's the proper sacrifice. Not by fasting. It says in the Bible, why should you fast when you have a bridegroom? Fast from sin. Fast from the world. Come out of her, my people, so you not be a partaker of her plagues. And the heavens shall, we're on 6, Psalm 56, and the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is the judge himself. He just talked about who the judge was. You, God on the earth. You're the judge. You will judge the saints, or you will judge the angels. We will judge the angels, KJV. They don't understand it. I speak to your shame. It is it is so that we are not, not a wise man among you, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. That's not the one I'm looking for. Okay, 1 Corinthians 6, 3. Know that you, that we are, shall judge angels. And how much more that pertains to this life. God's on the earth in the image of our own God in Bardello. You are a God already. I've gone through this. Listen to this one. This one tell you straight out. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness for God is the judge himself. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, that's all God's. It's all the people of the Father. And I will testify against her. I am God, even thy God. I am God, even thy God. Not talking about the Father here. We are God. Why would he say, I am God, and even thy God? Why wouldn't he just say, I am God? That's too different, because there's a slash in between there. Mark that down. In your Bible. Highlight it. The God they're talking about in the Bible. The world doesn't understand that God. It's them. Because everything's already predestinated. Predestination guys. Listen to this one. Behold I was shapen in iniquity. And in sin. Do they teach that in the church? No. Did my mother conceive me? Your mother's Bardello, Jesus, and everybody that's in that realm. There's another code. God, your God, I God, my God up there. Not the Father, not Jesus. I am God, even thy God. Yeah, and it's not singular. It's not plural. Okay. It's talking about, it is plural, sorry, the two gods. I will reprove thee for thy sacrifice, O thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. You're not going out burning cows. He hates that, doesn't like that scent. He didn't like them doing that from the beginning. A sin offering, a sacrifice. Sometimes you have to sacrifice your family. I'll tell you that right now. I've lost my whole entire family. My children have come up against me. I will take no ball, bullock out of thy house. I don't need a, a stinking burn offering of an animal. Nor he goats out of my folds. I don't need that stuff. I need you to sacrifice your sin, your cravings, your temptations. People that you have to get away from in your family. Like Abraham, he was ready to sacrifice his son. That's why there is everything for everything. For every beast of the forest is mine. And every cattle upon the thousand hills. Not every cattle lives in a hill. He's talking to different animals. 
a different beast. I know the fowls of the mountains. Fowls are all over the world. Fowls of Satan's mountain. Fowls are evil angels. And the wild beasts in the field are mine. If you don't tame yourself, you're a wild beast. You're flesh and man. You will die as a man. You will go where the second death is. To Hades. And the wild beasts. That's what the wild beasts is. They haven't been tamed by the father of mine. If we're hungry, I would not tell thee. For the word is mine. And the fullness thereof. And the fullness is Bardello. Is Mount Zion. Is the new earth. And the fullness thereof. That's where your fullness is. Your virgin is. Your spirit in the sky. Under the feet of God. The father. If you play as God. You must put father. So I will eat the flesh of bulls. Or drink the blood of goats. Is he talking about eating flesh of bulls and goats? No. Beasts. And goats are devils. And if you ever seen a little baby goat, they are devils. They're bossy and they hit around and they're mean. We are being separated, the goat from the sheep. Because the sheep is timid and it follows his leader wherever they go. I'll tell you a story. The leader of a sheep, if he goes into a water, they'll drown because of their coat. The rest will follow them in. You get it? But a goat doesn't follow nothing. It just bunts things around. Hating has two horns like a beast. So offer unto God thanksgiving. Our God. And there's no other God. But the wholeness. That's God. The Ruach. The all. The fullness, which you just told us, fullness thereof. And pay vows under the Most High. Under the Most High? How do you pay vows under the Most High when we're down on earth? And heaven and past the seven heavens under the Most High. Boom. Paradise. Ruach. The all. The gods. And that's what the movie showed you too. <laughs> and call upon me in the day of trouble. Call upon me in the day of trouble. And I will deliver thee. And thou shalt glorify me. Glorified body. I go to the glory of my right hand of my father. It's what Jesus said. I go to be glorified. I go back to what I was before the earth was even created. Thousand year reign is long gone. It's all throughout the old Bible. In the book of the uh, law, of the legends of the Jews tells you we were in a council. We were all told that we're going to fall to the garden. Garden in, is different. It's another world that was created where the evil and good partake of that tree to fall down here. Before this happened, the father told you all in council that he, you, when it's your time to go down and help your brothers up, you'll go through the same process as Adam did. They don't understand. You don't eat an apple off a tree and go to hell for it. You ate of the wrong fruit. You listen to the wrong fruit. Keep going to the church building. Keep listening to TikTok and YouTube people. They don't have the fruit. They don't even know who the Antichrist is. If you don't know who the Antichrist is now, you don't have the Spirit of God. It's been revealed. Okay? It's Prince Will I Am, and the Prince of this world cometh, and he has nothing. Jesus told you who he was. Daniel 7. Mouth like a lion, body as a leopard, and feet as a bear. On the other side, the horse with the fallen crown tied to this earth. With the chains on him, bound here. For eternity. But unto the wicked God. With the big G. That's a wrong G. Because our God isn't wicked. There's no evil in our father. He's talking about the wicked gods. The one that fell down here also. Because they're all one. 
See, the heartless horror is all one beast. And they don't get off the beast like we did. We were all the heartless horror because we drank out of our fornications. But we were meant to come off. That's why the beast wants to kill her. So, but unto the wicked God, all them are one. All us are one. Every one of God's children is a God. On heaven as on earth. You just don't go around saying, I'm God, I'm God. That'll get you put in hell. We're in a wretched body. We're in a beast. He's looking for pure hearts here. He's not looking for pure flesh. There's none what righteous. No, not one. Because you live in unrighteousness. You live in an evil God. So, 14, but unto the wicked God. Well, anyone that's made of the Father is not a wicked God. They're going through a process. Say, what thou do with the declare my statutes? Or that that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seest thou hatest instruction? Satan hates instruction. They hate being told their their false teaching is false teaching. They will come up against you. They will not bow down. Because they're clouds without spots, clouds without water, spiritual water, spiritual light, spiritual truth. They didn't have it from the beginning, never to have it ever. If you aren't sent that God, that Holy Spirit of yours, it's a God. It's already up there. You will never learn the truth. That's why you were given. You can't see it. But it's within your pista Sophia. Which is your, your heart. And your little bit in your brain. The size of a mustard seed. Up there. It's the size of a city. Hmm. Seest thou, thou hatest instruction, and ca- castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou considerest with him, and has been a partaker with adulterers. False doctrine. That's adultery to, to the Father. If you're misteaching and misguiding like 97% of the teachers are out there, I can guarantee you that. Because there's only a remnant teaching. Nobody's teaching people how to read the Bible properly. It took a long time. Seven years of 180, 90,000 hours reading, teaching, and listening. I go to work. I wake up at 5 in the morning. And I'm not done until 9 or 10 at night. Every day. Some days I get in trouble. And I got to fight. So I'm not on as long. Right? Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and to the tongue frameth deceit. Adultery. Adultering the word of God is the worst adultery you can do be. Well, let's show you what Barbello is. I wanted to come here. What does Barbello mean? to the first emanation of God in several forms of Gnostic cosmogony. Barbello is often depicted as a supreme female principle, the single passive antecedent of creation in its manifoldness. The she, the her, the wisdom. That is a metaphor. So let's read it. First emanation of God in several forms. <laughs> oh, that just adds to this. I am God, even thy God, but not yet because you're in the flesh. Let's say that again. The first emanation of God in several forms. The supreme female principle the spirit that's put with you the holy spirit is she wisdom hmm. i done a lot of research to come to this your bible has been taught wrong 
for thousands of years since it was ever put into one book. Okay, The Bible didn't come in one book. They had to put it in. There's, that's why there's 66 books in one. Bible doesn't mean Bible. It should be called the Holy Scriptures, not Bible. Bible means books. Bordello is, is a supreme female principal, a single passive attendant of creation in its manifold manifoldness, in the manifestation thereof, as in heaven, as on earth. If somebody tells you not as in heaven, not on earth, that would be the last person you want to listen to because they're also saying you don't have salvation, which was Second Thessalonians 2.13, which was given from the beginning. God choose you from the beginning to sanctification through truth, knowledge, and the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the God in several forms. We come down to the earth like gods in the likeness, not in the likeness of this God. We're here to defeat the God that we live in, which is Satan. From dust I come, from dust I go. Your flesh must die to save your soul and go back to Satan. From thus I come, from thus I go. Bordello. First ammunition of God in several forms. The God in the Bible, they always say it's not the Hebrew Bible. The Hebrew God. Yeah, and your Hebrew God is not the God in the Bible because they don't know what it is. It tells you over and over that you are a God in this book. It talks about you, the God, the God of several forms. Father is one form. You can't take his form. He's, he's, he's irmeasurable. You can't measure the Father because the Father is what, Junior? Consciousness. He doesn't come in a form. You can't keep him in a cup. He doesn't go into a building made with hands and walls. He comes through you. That's the God. Your Holy Spirit is a God. Pure light. So you're gonna people are gonna learn how to read their Bibles because if you don't, it's almost impossible without the other books. I'll just warn you that. Because it's categorized into secrets and mysteries and metaphors and talking about things that people, they don't know the God of heaven. They don't know themselves. They're doing blasphemies on TikTok because they sit there and go, in the name of Jesus, you just blasphemy because that's speaking of the devil, Kenneth Copeland, double. And they sit there and they do vain teachings and vain babblings. And they curse their own spirit. Because they believe they're the Holy Spirit of Jesus. No, you have your own. Well, you have your own Bart. You have your own God. And God in several forms. The place where we reside fully and never really left. Because that's your virgin soul. Your virgin spirit. It has never been defiled. First Adam, second Adam. That's the Eve that was sent to him first was spiritual. They don't even know that. Okay, so we're on 20 now. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Well, he was born of another mother. How could he be the how could he be your brother if he wasn't Bardello? Huh. He's only your brother because you were born of the Father. You were begotten of the Father. Jesus ain't the only begotten one on the earth he was. But not up there. The church of Ecclesia. The spiritual church that was made before the earth was even created. I'll slender thy own mother's son. What's your mother? Is it the hearted whore? Or is it the spirit of God? God. The hearted whore, Satan did the same thing. He tried to create the mother of the earth. They call her Mother Earth. The father ain't the mother. This Why is this earth called Mother Earth? 
because from the flesh I go, from flesh I go, from from dust I come, from flesh I, or from dust I go. If you go back to the earth and the earth is your mother, then you go and you die the second death. There's no returning from that second death. You go back to the earth. That's why they're all here right now, above you in the skies and below. The giants are already here. Giants in the days even after the flood. This is Noah. The same thing happened. It wasn't a boat. People think there's a boat. I have, you should listen to the book of Moses. The Apocrypha of Moses. Even Moses said, it's not a boat that he created. It's He helped the people create an ark spiritually. And there wasn't very many people listening. And the father shut the door of that boat. The same thing is going to happen today as it happened in the flood. But there'll be a flood of fire. All the demons have to come here. This is their earth. They're already here. That's why when they die, a giant dies, he still roams the earth. Tells you that in the Bible. Because this earth is his. And he finds dry bones to go into. Their grandson or their son to go into. To be do the same thing as his fathers does. And kings, you did as your fathers. You died to your own destroyer. You have a virgin. You have a God. And that comes for you, just like the movie of Titan shows you. That's why you have to go through evil to learn the good. These pastors standing behind, oh, I smoked cigarettes and, and drank alcohol. You're the last one I want to listen to. I walked through the pits of hell. I died twice and came back and was beaten and many times in my life to death and hated from the time I was born. Now that's a true pastor. I lived on the streets. That's a true pastor. Someone that went through the darkness. Can be the only one that can teach you. How to go to the light. <laughs> Can't have someone. Oh I smoke cigarettes. Well you're the last guy that's going to teach me. To get through my problems. These. Okay 21. These things that I have done and I have kept in silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thy eyes. Who's setting you in order? Your Holy Spirit, your God, you, you God. It's helping set you in order. And Jesus is too. Without Jesus, you can't be. He is the the. The head pastor. He is the head teacher. He is in the middle tossing your spirit side to side. You must sin to learn how not to. Your Bible tells you. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin. We'll tell you, oh, you're the sinner. You don't sin. Be scared of sin. No, no. Well, we hate it. I'm not giving, I don't give excuse for it. But it's predestinated to you. If you're predestinated, everything's predestinated for you. And Jesus walked through those steps for you that you're walking in. Predestination. Now consider this. Ye that forget God, yourself, will not get her. If you don't find your Holy Spirit, you won't go to heaven because you've blasphemed it and denied it. That's why you don't blasphemy the heavens, because the heavens will blasphemy you. That's why they taught the world is round and, and it's a ball and it's spinning. Because then you would deny the heavens and you would believe in rapture. Oh, my flesh is going to go up into heaven. Read your darn Bible. No flesh and blood. Your flesh is a demon. So now consider this. Ye that forget God. Lest I tear you in pieces. You for, he's not talking about the Father or Jesus here. Jesus isn't God. He is his own God. He's God over you. He's King of kings and Lord of lords. But you're a king and you're a Lord and you're a God too. That's why he's King of kings. Lord of lords of the Spirit. Without him, we cannot get there. Because he in the middle is working with our angel. 
or triangle tossing us back and forth like a reed in the wind. It tells you in the Bible. There's your reed, your spirit being tossed. When you do something wrong, you're over on the left side. Your spirit is as in heaven, as on earth. Then you go, oh, down here, and you cry out for Jesus and the Father. <laughs> and that's when your Holy Spirit, your God, comes back. Your Holy Spirit is your God. That's the God in the Bible they're talking about. That's why it goes, the Lord God is an S-U-N, because you will shine like the sun. He's talking about your Lord above you in the clouds, and your God in the fullness, the Ruach, the all, Bardello. People don't even understand their Bible. Lest I tear you in pieces, because if you don't learn that you have a Holy Spirit, a God, and a Lord, and a King, you're not going to heaven. You'll be torn pieces by the demon that you were, because you didn't get enough. They die, they die for a lack of knowledge, which is truth. Because they turn on truth. People leave this channel for what I teach. I got people coming in and out like this is a revolving door. Goodbye if you leave. I got people here seven, eight, seven years. They understand this because I've got 1,700 shows. So I'm kind of, because I got someone new, I'm kind of explaining again. She's a, a woman she described, she subscribed yesterday. Because I don't, I hate when they just come in and they just leave. You've just left the truth. You've just left something that's giving you light. Without being light, full of light, you cannot go. Light, truth, and knowledge, same thing. The water that covers being dripped on you, the blood. Who offereth praise glorifieth me. And to him, we offer praise. That's what we do. We worship the Father and we praise Jesus and the spirits. But the all worship Jesus told you, just follow me. Throw cast eye net and follow me. He didn't say worship me. Don't worship the sun, moon, and stars. But praise them. Doesn't that tell you that there's something that the people don't think they are? People are, are British. British means stupid and dumb, by the way. And to him that ordereth his conversation, all right, will I show the salvation of God? What God is that? You've been saved from the beginning because he kept a piece of you. That's the God that comes down for you. That's the Holy Spirit that comes down and takes you out of this body when you're ready to go and you're full of light and truth and knowledge. You can't get there without being full of light, truth and knowledge. There's no other way. You get that through Jesus. He tells your spirit what to do. You ever listen to this book? I got teachings on it. You can go back and listen to it. Tells you that you have a spirit in the sky. You have a Holy Spirit. And it talks to you. You have a God talking to you. That was given to you from the beginning. First Adam. Second Adam. You have a natural flesh and a spiritual flesh. Is your spiritual flesh in you? Absolutely not. Because if it was, you wouldn't be here. Have thy mercy upon me, O God. My God has mercy on me. According to thy love and kindness and according to the multitude, thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions. Yeah, it does it. When your spirit goes up, proceeds up to God at night, it throws your evil into the lake of fire and goes up with your good works. Because he hides you through love. Love conquers much. Planting seeds. If you save one soul, you're going to heaven. If you help save one soul, you're going to heaven. That's not my directive. My directive is to try to save the world, but you cannot do that. Wash me through my iniquity. Oh, well, you can't sin. Oh, well, you don't want to. You hate it. Yes, that's why it says you got to hate one and love the other. Because you're going to have it. Because you live in it. 
and cleanse me from my sin. Well, well, you were a Christian. I thought you walked in perfect order and you're not sinning at all. It's a process from a seed to a plant to a tree to a full-grown tree. When you're full-grown tree, you've come to the knowledge of and truth of. Now you're full of light and you're gone. Your God, you come and pick you. Your God picks you up. They don't know the God of the Bible. They don't know that that God that's talking about is all his people. Bordello, the all, your virgin, pure light. I got to use the washroom. Give me a second, guys. So here's what it is. The Lord God is two entities. Okay. Is actually one. You. When it talks about the Lord God, it's talking about your Lord and your God above you. Also, Jesus, when it's singular, he will come out on your Bible as Lord or Jesus. We're all one. <laughs> Already. Never left the oneness. Never left the bardello. I'm sure glad I... I showed you guys what Bardello really meant. So, and my sin is forever before me. While you're on the earth, you live in it forever. You're going to sin till the last day and hour that you're raised up by your God. God raises you up in the last day and hour. Your God raises you up in the last day and hour. It'll come fully in you and you'll be full of light before you go. And when you're about to die, it's going to, so you don't feel that last bit of pain because you went through enough torture through your entire life. Of course I did. I've been tortured since I was born. Hated. Even by my own mother. Still hates me. Yeah. I believe it. It's just a name. There's many names that aren't given that are proper. I can show you in the Bible or in the book of John what the seven heavens are above you. That's the evil heavens. Huh. Part of us is still in the third heaven above us, in the clouds. It's being tossed to and fro like a reed shaken in the wind to get out the sin. You have to sin to get it out of you. You're not going to be able to get something out of you if you haven't been hurt by it enough times. We live in a brutish body. It takes many times to get away over some sins. Yesterday I was talking about this with my daughter-in-law. She's actually found that out herself. That it's a process. So against thee, the only have I sinned. All done this evil in my sight. Because he can see. God, your God sees through your eyes and the whole heaven sees it. Your spirit is connected to the whole heavens and they watch everything you do. So that'll make you not want to do it, if anything. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Your spirit judges you. Jesus judges it up there throws it over and says now it's time to go on the left side and demons beat you up which this book teaches you read shake it in the wind your spirit but the one above isn't it's a yo-yo down in the third heaven part of it is and part of it's here but the fullness is never left bardello you've never left gods that's why we go to the high mountains 
when Moses went up to the high mountain, his God came in burning bush. Your spirit. He saw his spirit. I saw mine above the, above my body in my room. I came in in the spirit and I left my body. I was disconnected from my body and I was in my spirit. And I said, Lord, Lord. And then, boom, he put me back into my flesh and I watched my spirit being baptized by the Holy Ghost above my head. Not by water and a colligan bottle. By the spirit of light. People think they have to go and get baptized. That's false. Ask the guy on the cross on the right hand side. He never got baptized. Today you'll be with me in paradise. What's paradise? Bardello. The new Jerusalem. Israel. Israel's not here on the earth. I got a Bible can show you that. It's called Palestine in the time of Jesus was walking. I have a Bible over there. Tells you that. Shows you that. Well, you must love the Jews and don't curse the Jews. Those aren't the real Jews. Whoever calls himself a Jew outwardly is a ravaging wolf. Tells you that in your Bible. Israel Jacob is you. And Jacob will never fail. And you will never fail. Because you've been given salvation. 2 Thessalonians 2.13 from the beginning. Beloved our God. Because our God, us, was given salvation. We just don't have full until we leave this body. That keeps you thirsting and hungering. Okay, so behold, this is uh, Psalms 51.5. This is something your churches will never tell you. They'll tell you opposite. And make you scared like you're going to hell. Who preaches to make you scared? The churches, TikTok, and YouTube. Listen to this one. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin. Did my mother conceive me? Your Holy Spirit. Your virgin. Your she, your her. It's just metaphor. Take that she and put it as God in Bardello with the rest of them. You're up there with your brothers. That's why you can't see anything because you're put into a veil. You, there's two veils, one in the heavens and one here. And you live in it. When you come to full light, your veil is broken. This veil, I'm pretty darn near close. Although the tempting I was going through yesterday was insane. But I didn't fail. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. Not your flesh. Inward parts. Pistis Sophia is hooked your heart into that grain of mustard seed in your brain. Your subconscious. Your conscious is flesh. You have in your penile gland. It's the size of a mustard seed. That's hooked to your heart, which is hooked to the middle, which is hooked to the top. Your God. You. And I don't care. I don't call myself God here because I'm wretched. I'm worse than all you guys can even imagine. I did sins that you guys would go, how can you be a Christian and be saved? We go through the evilest of sins. The grossest. Because we're the ones facing those demons in the middle and down here. The principalities and down here. When it says we fight against principalities in high places. Because your middle one fights in principalities against high places. Are you fighting demons seeing them here? And just whack, 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 whack. It's not by the things seen. In the inward parts. And in the hidden part. Thou shall make me to known wisdom. God, the mother, she, you. You have wisdom from the beginning, 2 Thessalonians 2.13. You can't fail. Oh, the church will say, you, you can lose your salvation. No, you can't. You have a spirit up underneath the feet of God. That's him, of the Father. That's you, God. You can't fail. Impossible. 
well, I don't believe, I think you can lose salvation. Yeah, that's because you probably are thinking you don't have it. And if you lose it, you never had it. You have partial salvation. As you come more to faith, your salvation becomes almost full. When you become full of light, now you have salvation. Your God, you, your virgin spirit comes and gets you. One that is undefiled. Then you take on incorruptible because your flesh is corruptible. And it says in the Bible to take on incorruptible, you must die. Purge me with hyssop. Another metaphor. Purge me with light and truth. And I shall be clean through what? I'm the way, the truth, and the life. What sets you free? Truth. Hyssop's truth. It's a metaphor. Shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Because he's washing off your spots. We're washing our coats in the blood of the lamb. That takes your whole life. From spot and wrinkle. To be white as snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. See, you come less and less to sin so that you have more and more joy. You're beating your flesh that you live in. He's beating it up there by tossing your spirit in the middle over to the principality demons. And then you're in there getting beat up. And you're going, ow, oh, ow, oh, here. And then Jesus comes in with this light and he goes, he's not strong enough yet. Boom, he's your shield. And those demons scurry to the farthest corner. What's one book teaches? A couple books teach it. They just don't understand it because they think they know it all with 66 books. <laughs> Good luck. The Pharisees and Sadducees, the book of Thomas, took the keys out of heaven. And you're being robbed by the robbers and thieves. Because they're teaching this Bible backwards for thousands since this Bible came out. And they're still following that false teaching of the Bible in the church today. That's why he doesn't dwell in it. There is no spirit in a building. It doesn't come in a building. You can't measure your spirit. It's the size of a city. It doesn't dwell in buildings. And the temple of God is Jesus and you. Up there. There is no temple down here. And they're watching all these temples. Oh, they're going to build the third temple. Shut up. They've been saying that for 10 years. That's to misguide you. So create me in a clean heart, O oh God, your God, by chastising you through the Father and Jesus. Chastising it. Saying, now it's time to go down. See, that's how he's not judging in the earth because he's not here. And he's not, God, the Father's not judging in the earth because he's not here. They judge through your line that's hooked all the way up. And he plays you like a harp because the Father is your harp. And you are the string being played by Jesus and the Father. A renew a right spirit within me. Is it saying your flesh? Absolutely not. That flesh must die to go back to Satan for destruction. 1 Corinthians 5.5. 5. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. I told you this. One of the apostles said, don't let the Holy Spirit leave me today. Because then you're going through testing. It's gone back up to see how strong you are. The pistis Sophia in you is. This around your head is. Your hedge of protection is. This gets stronger. Your pistis Sophia is faith. He's growing your faith because he's the author and the finisher of your faith, Jesus Christ is. You don't need your, your flesh to grow. You need your faith to grow. You need to do that with truth and knowledge. That's why there's no lies in this channel. Sorry. Anybody leaves? I can't do anything about it. You've gone back to the lie and you just fell away. So be very careful who you listen to. Monkey see, monkey do. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. 
Hide thy face from my sins. Jesus hides his face while he throws you over there. He hides until you get beat up and you cry out. And then he hears you. Then he comes over and goes, he's not strong enough. Boom. And he walks you back over to get you stronger in your faith and spirit. And you might have to do that for one sin up to 300,000 times. Especially your strong man. You don't teach this. Cast me away from thy... So, where was I? Cast me away. Renew a right spirit within me. Cast me away from thy presence. Well, are you walking with Jesus right here, right now, shaking his hand and eating at the table with him? No, he does that in the middle in the clouds where we meet him. He casts you away from his presence into the darkness so that you can come to the marvelous light. That he can gain strength. He is your strength. He took your stripes and your flesh because you didn't know how. Cast thy net in, Peter, and follow me. Because I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And truth brings you to life. Not these lies that these stupid... I'll tell you right now, TikTok barely has anybody that knows anything on there. And neither does YouTube. And neither does the church building. Why? Because there's only a remnant. There's 144,000. Sees that you... That God send you someone in your harvest. This is the harvesting place. We are building a spiritual ark. Without the Father to shut our door and Jesus to shut the door, you can't make it. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. It leaves you sometimes. When he takes it from you, he's throwing it over, up above you. Your triangle. You're a square, triangle, and a circle, which would represent a realm. And when he takes it from you, he's testing the spirit in you. He's testing what? Your hedge of protection, your aura, your wreath, to see if it's strong enough. If it's not, then you'll have to go through it again. It could take many times. Restore me the joy that the, of thy salvation. Restore me, restore unto me, which is the same thing, the joy of thy salvation. Is it saying you don't have salvation? It says it throughout the Bible all over. Of thy salvation. You can't lose it. And uphold me with the free spirit. What's a free spirit means? can go where it is. It isn't back in the box. At the proceedings of 12 of midnight, the strike of midnight, you go go to sleep, your spirit proceeds up to the Father and God, Jesus, and you. All of them. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways. Here you go. You did something wrong. I'm going to throw you up in your principality. I'm going to throw you over to the other side, the left side. Where there's a gulf that splits the right side from the left. Why do you think Jesus said, I go to the right hand of my father? Everything on the left is the fake. On the left side is the Garden of Even, Garden of Eve, protected by four flaming fiery sar- demons. Up in heaven is the Bordello, the true Jerusalem, the true Israel, the realm that we all have never left. And sinners shall be converted unto thee. Why? Because you you don't like you don't like being tossed over to the other side. You don't like your sin. You hate it. When you cry out and you hate it, he comes over, shines the light. You're not strong enough, bub, but you'll make it. Come back over to the right side. Then you're full of light again. You're renewed every day by your spirit. You go through this while you sleep. <laughs> People don't realize this. So deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thy God. Why did it say, O God, thy God of my salvation? You're your salvation because you were given it from the beginning, telling you that you are God up there. O God, thou God, my God, your God, all in one. Together as the Ruach, together as the Yah, ah. 
Bordello, Israel? Why is the garden different? Because the garden's put in the middle. The evil just take the evil seed and never go back. And then they fall. Still happening today. I felt it today big time. Yesterday I was almost, at the end of the night, I was almost sin when I saw that lady do that. I wanted to tell her in her ear. I got something, and I just went, whoa, shut up, head. She fornicated in front of everybody. I saw her doing it. In a pool with kids and adults and babies. And that's when I was like, oh my goodness. I know exactly what she's doing. Because why? I've done it before. I know exactly what it does. She was in a trance, guys. She doesn't know what she does, though, buds. I knew. The Father showed me. So deliver me from the blood guiltiness, because you're not going to have any guiltiness on the end. You don't have shame and guilt. That's When you get over a sin, you must not keep shaming and guilting it. You must throw it away. Your spirit did, so why can't we? Because your flesh tells you, you're going to hell, you're going to hell. That's a line. That's on purpose. So you go, ah, I don't like it. And then Jesus comes over, picks you back out from the left side, puts you back on the right, and you gain strength. You gain a hedge of protection. Get stronger. So, and my song shall sing aloud of righteousness. Inside of me is singing of righteousness, not my flesh. It's telling me, do this, do that, do this, smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol, lie, cheat, who have sex on someone, commit adultery. That's all it does. Because it's born of the wicked. It's not born of God, the Father. He doesn't burn nothing physical. Satan did that to trick us all. He does ex- tried to do exactly what God did, only to turn back on him like a double-edged sword. O Lord, open thy lips, and with thy mouth shall show forth thy praise. Is it saying that's that's Jesus? He is the one tickling your spirit. Go down and make him feel bad. But your spirit's just hooked to you. He's the one that comes over and uses the shield until your shield's strong enough to pating bows off of it. And arrows. One book, This book talks about thy arrow, break thy arrow in thy bow. Once you got that light and you got that shield from that demon, pating, that demon won't come bother you again. It may tempt you. They're always knocking at your door. Can I, can I go do this? Have a drink. Get drunk. Go have sex with someone. Lie. Cheat. Steal. Man, that's never going to leave you because you live in it. So that thou desirest not sacrifice, for thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. <laughs> Doesn't like it. The sacrifice of God are the broken are a broken spirit. Down here you're broken. You're broken into three parts. One is whole. The middle is as much as what you got down here. Broken spirit, a contrite spirit, poor spirit, thirsting and hungering. Because of your God, you God up above makes it thirst and hunger. Right here it speaks it. A broken and contrite heart. O oh God, thou will not despise. Your God, you will not despise what you're going through down here. Because you're being put through it by the Father. He's already done it. He just strung out that 7,000 years ago. 
through Jesus and your spirit, your God are helping you go back up. Many angels and other angels are helping you. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, unto God, unto your God, unto the Ruach, unto the all. Build thy walls of Jerusalem. Build thy walls of Jerusalem. You. A bordello. God. You. Same thing. Thou shalt be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering of the whole burnt offering. Sin. Why? Because you got to go through the fire spiritually. You look at this spiritually. They look at it physically. No. You had to go through the fire to burn that offering. Many times up there, tossed over. Oh, now I got to go through the fire. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, come back, son. Bing. Jesus shows the light. Come back, son. You'll get strong enough. I promise you. I was just testing to see where you are. Filling you full of light and truth. Then shall the offer bullocks upon the altar. Your flesh. Sins. Evil. Wild beasts. Because Satan created. You were born into darkness. To come to the marvelous light. 365 parts of your body. Were made by demons. Hmm. That's why we war against. Our flesh, our spirit wars against the flesh. How is that? Your spirit up there, by going tossing back and forth through sin and bad, be right, is warring against your flesh. You're not sitting there beating yourself up, are you? You're not cutting your own head off. It's spiritual. They read the Bible physically because they don't have a Holy Spirit. They don't have a God. They don't have a Ruach. They don't have a Bardello. They don't have a realm within the Father. Many mansions in heaven. My treasures in heaven. Adding to my treasures in heaven. Not here. You can have the treasures, all the treasures, but you find that one pearl. That's your Holy Spirit. That's your Holy Ghost. You don't find that pearl. You're not going. Rapture is the most false teaching in the world. You are denying and blaspheming your Holy Spirit with rapture. It's one of the deadliest teachings in the world. And billions of people, 90% of the church believe in that. Hell, pit, lie. Why boastest of thyself in mischief, O mighty man? <laughs> The goodness of God, almighty man, that's within you a little bit. The God, God endureth continuously. God endureth continually. Not, there is no God but you and me and Jesus. The Father's not God. He's the Father. He's not Yahweh. You can't name him. He's not Jehovah. Jehovah Witness. Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Jehovah Witness don't believe in Jesus as helping them. They believe they're Jesus. They kind of got it right. But without Jesus going side to side and protecting you, being your armor that you don't have on. Let me see your gold armor. Let me see you have the right, the uh, your feet shod with the preparation in the gospel in peace. That's spiritual. That tells you right there. Having my loins girded about me with truth. Having the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith while able to deflect all the fiery darts from the wicked one. What are you? Well, you will get one in your body once in a while because I had it and it hurt for six months. I could barely walk. Like the sharp razor working deceitfully. I got to go. Thou lovest evil more than good. That's what the beast do. And lying rather than to speak righteousness, the truth. Speaking righteousness and speaking truth. There's barely anybody, anybody out there. That's why God says pray in your harvest that you have somebody come to you in your harvest. 
because there is nobody. We live in, in, in everybody thinks that we live that every, all the truth is going to come and only to God's people. They believe in a lie and they'll never get the truth because they don't have the spirit of. It's actually more deceitful to lay it to see it, the apostate church. They say, well, the, the, the truth is bringing it. No. You're telling a lie, so you don't have the truth. The truths are being revealed. The black Jesus, come on. You believe in a government over God, the Father, and Jesus, and your Ruach? You believe in man? I don't live in man. My spirit's where my heart is, in heaven. Heart's not here. Doesn't like it here. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. Why does he talk so much? Because the whole world is in the hands of the wicked one, of the evil one. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. They didn't take the spirit of God. So then they get a destroyer. Their God, it's a destroyer. He shall take away thee away and pluck thee out of the dwelling place and the root there out of the land of the living. The land of the living isn't down here. They had a chance. They said no too many times and God shut their holy angel down. Now they got the angel that they deserve, but it's been predestinated anyway. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. See, when you turn into an angel, you'll get the last laugh. The ones laughing at you now are laughing first. He who laughs first, laughs last. He who is crying and mourning in this flesh will laugh at the end. That's why I laugh at them when they come in and they say, oh, you're a false doctor. And I just go, you just fell, buds. Lo, this is a man that made not God his strength. They didn't find their Holy Spirit to strengthen it. Jesus makes the strength of it, of your God. They didn't find the strength because they never had it in them. They're the ones saying they're strong, but they're weak. Turn everything upside down, you will reveal the potter's clay. Everything on this earth is upside down. Turn it right side up. Reveal the real potter's clay. I can do that through the Bible. But trust in the abundance of his riches and the strengthening himself in his wickedness. We're not strengthening ourselves. We're being strengthened by the Father, which already did that work. Angels, your angel, your God, and Jesus. Without them, you can't be strengthened. You're the one saying, I'm not the one sinning. I'm strong in God. No, he's not. He's not tempting you because he's already got you. Why would Satan tempt you when he already owns you? It's even ridiculous. Why would you buy a house when you own it? This is a square, a jail, a house that you live in. You're a vessel. All the ships in the sea getting destroyed down here. He isn't talking about a ship floating on the boat water. He's talking about a vessel. They get destroyed and go where they belong because they never did belong. They're a shadow. We live in the shadow. Although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no, no evil of this death. You get it? All right, guys, I'm going to come back on a little bit later. I'm going to take a break here. I want to finish this out, though, so stick it out, because I'm almost at the end for the next one. I'm going to be teaching the Bible for a couple of days, because it's just, I found way too much in it. So powerful. He will take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land, twice dead and plucked up by the roots. Lo, is a man that madeth not God his strength. He didn't make his God strong because he didn't have a strong God. He had a destroyer God that comes for them at the end. Their own demon comes for them at the end. Your own God comes for you. Your virgin comes for you at the end. Your bordello, your God, same thing. Your Jerusalem comes for you. Your Jacob, your Israel, your Jesus, your father comes for you at the end. Because you're with them. You're just going back to the resurrecting, back to what you were. But better. 
but I'm like a green olive tree in the house of God. I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. Is it telling you you're not in the house of God? That's not a building. That's not the earth. That's not your flesh. That's the fullness, the bardello, the circle. A circle, triangle, and square have a little bit of that. That's how we're in the house of God and we never left. And we were never forsaken. Jesus said, I never left you or forsake you. He's actually telling you the truth. All the way up to. Because we all reside in Bardello. In the New Jerusalem. In the house of God. You. That's why I got a circle drawn. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. He's talking about you. I will praise thee forever. Why? Because it lives within you. And it started with you at the beginning. And then he gave it to you down here. Just a pistis. Just a mustard seed faith of it. For that to grow into a full grown tree. What you are. In the house of God. It doesn't say outside of the house. Of your God, your original house you came from, your original round you come from, you, your God, you, you God. See, they don't know who God is in the Bible at all. That's why it's there so many times. It would either be Father, the Most High, never mind Yahweh and Jehovah and all that garbage. And Yeshua, that's all garbage. The Lord. Jesus, I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it. You and your God did it. And Jesus and angels. Because iron sharpens iron. And I will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints. I already got given my new name. He came into me and he said it three times. Just like he did with Paul. Rod, 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 three nights at the same time. And then Satan said, ah, you serve hell. And I just went, yeah, right, Rods. All right, we're going to continue in Psalm 53 when I come back later. A fool has said in his heart, there is no God. What's he talking about? A fool says in the heart, rapture. A fool in his heart says that the world's spinning around thousands of miles an hour. Says that they don't have the Holy Spirit, that Jesus is the Holy Spirit. That's what he's talking about. It says in rapture, you're blaspheming your Holy Spirit because you never had one. And you're in a lie. If you don't get out of that lie, you'll go to that lie. God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. We'll do communion next show. <laughs>